Hello, my name is Gregory Gunderson, and I'm a software engineer in the Mayan lab. And today I'll be talking about Geo2 Enricher, which is a Chrome extension for gene set extraction and enrichment. As an overview, I'll first talk about Geo, which is the gene expression omnibus. Then I'll talk a little bit about Enricher, which is a web-based tool for gene enrichment analysis. And then finally, I'll talk about Endemo Geo2 Enricher. So, GEO is the Gene Expression Omnibus, which is a public repository for gene expression data from high-throughput experiments. So researchers all across the world can perform uh, microarray, RNA-seq chips uh, experiments and upload the, that data to GEO for other researchers to use. Um, and it's organized in a variety of file types. So broadly, all GEO files are called soft files, which is the simple omnibus format in text. So it's plain text. It's tab separated, but there's a couple distinctions that are important for you. So first, there's the GSM file, which is raw expression measurements. And GSM files are sort of the, the, the basic soft file. And then those are grouped into two different kinds of uh, collections. A GSC collection, which is samples from raw expression measurements uh, of the same experiment. So there might be, you know, 10, 20, 30 GSM files associated with one GSC file, and a GDS, which is just like a GSC, except for it's curated, which means the data has been cleaned up a little bit more. Next, I'm going to talk a little bit about Enricher, which is a web-based tool for performing gene set enrichment analysis. So to make the distinction, with GEO, you have experimental expression data, and with Enricher, you have gene set lists. And those are two different things, and GEO to Enricher helps convert from one format to the other. Um, so Enricher is a web-based tool for gene set enrichment analysis, and what that means is that you have a, given a set of genes, um, what other sets or libraries of genes uh, have some sort of overlap. And so Enricher performs a Fisher exact test, you can read a little bit more about that online, um, to find that overlap. So let's look at an example. So on the UI, it actually has this button to click, uh, an example of a quantitative set. And here you see a list of genes, comma, separated with uh, membership value. And so this is called a fuzzy set. So in a, with a crisp set, uh, an element is either in the set or it's not in the set. With a fuzzy set, it's, there's a statistical likelihood that it is, it is in the set. And so here you see the atom 10 has a membership value of 0 0.180332. Um, and if you scroll down, there's just a bunch of genes. And what Enricher will do is compare this to all the other gene sets in its library. So if I click this button, this up arrow, here it opens up the UI to Enricher, and you can now examine other relevant genes um, based off of you know pathways, ontologies, disease, drug, cell types, etc. Now I'm going to talk about installing and using Geo2 Enricher. So if you navigate to the Chrome Web Store using the link, you'll see this page here. So installation is as easy as just clicking this free button. If you click it, Chrome will notify you of some permissions that you have to accept. So just to explain those, first of all, uh, we need to be able to make HTTP requests to amp.farm.msn.edu. And that is just uh, where Geo2 Enricher's Python uh, web application lives. So this way we can make requests and do analysis in Python um, for you and store your files. Um, and then NCBI permissions to actually query the Geo API and download the files uh, to our servers as well. And then managing your downloads, this just means that when you click on a link, it'll actually, you can download the uh, gene set list directly to your uh, downloads folder. So I'm not going to click add because I already have a development version installed, but you should just click add here. So if you remember, this is what Geo's uh, dataset browser looked like. Now, if I enable Geo to Enricher, you'll notice there's a new button here. And this is what the Chrome extension is doing, is that when you navigate across Geo, it will add this button to the page that offers you some additional functionality. So if you click step four, pipe to enricher, it brings up this little user interface. Um, 
You'll notice here is a description of the steps that Geo2 Enricher performs. So if you would like to know sort of what's happening to your data. Um, and then it has some confirmation fields to verify that the data is correct. Feel free to edit that. For example, if you click here because the ascension number is wrong, you can edit it. Um, and then there's some fields for metadata. So this will be saved in the file name and sort of will help you remember uh, what you were interested in or what you what the experiment was about. Um, so let's use this tool. So you can select the GSM files. Remember, these are the raw sample files uh, through Geo's interface. So if I select these three control and then these three sample and then open up Geo2 Enricher again, you'll notice that Geo2 Enricher has already picked up on the fact that you selected some new samples, has them listed here. And then if you click Get Gene Lists, it will then analyze your data. So this is going to take some time. Okay, so the data is done, and you can see that you have four buttons on the bottom of the screen. So if you click Download Gene List, it will download the up genes as a separate file and the down genes as a separate file. And if I click the up genes, here you'll see a list of gene symbols, tab separated, with a membership value. So here is the most statistically significant gene from the experimental data that we found um, through differential expression analysis. So if you think about what's happened, again, you have raw expression data. We perform, uh, we identify the differentially expressed genes resulting in a gene set list. And then if we click up, down, or all, these three buttons will all open those gene set lists in Enricher. So let's click on up. So when I click on up, it opens Enricher. Here's 220 genes um, from the uh, differential expression identification. And then here are related genes based off of this gene set enrichment analysis. So you've gone, again, you've gone from raw expression data to uh, identifying the uh, significant genes and then piping them into Enricher to tell you other relevant genes. And so that is the data pipeline for Geo2 Enricher. <laughs>